Good drive from Joe Dean at the first. I'm officially head of the Joe Dean fan club. I think his story is just magnificent and he's a wonderful golfer. We're going to see a lot of this guy. Uh, Lombard, he's standing over it, no problem at all. He's got a clear shot in over some trees, 134. Clearly not a good angle. But a very good result. And that helped his course. Always was a birdie, wasn't it, after the tee shot? And Sarah fizzing that one in there to the fifth. That's a wonderful shot. Great strike. Now, let's look here at uh, Alex Fitzpatrick, who's one under right now. This for a birdie. Well, would you believe it? Would you believe that? What a bonus that is for Alex Fitzpatrick. Puts him to minus two. Third birdie of the day. Dropped shot in the second, as you can see on his card there. Third hole, Francesco Laporta. Talked about this raised green. It's just a short iron. Good golf swing, this young man. Better player than his results suggest. He doesn't putt particularly well. Wow. If that's his approach, as evidence of the excellent long game. Gerbash, his second to the fifth. Finding the fairway off the tee. Not a long one, this 350 yards. Dog leg from right to left. And front right pin. Oh, look at that, plenty of spin. Banagi, young amateur, for his birdie at the sixth. son of Alberto Biaghi, who's a fine player on the European Tour for many years and now a coach. Was the coach of Manacero for quite a long time. Friedrichsen, uh, 15, albeit with a shorter club. <laughs> He's done well there, judged the release brilliantly. Oh, that'll do. Slightly sticky start, but uh, that's his first birdie today. So Joe's back to minus two. Lacroix at three over par. Birdie attempt. He's not. Uh... Go on. Oh, there's one of them. Needs a few more. Coming home. straight off the left, but you're just thinking flag stick from this distance, ball slightly below his feet. Get a wonderful wedge into the fifth hole. Can he do so again here? Yes, he can. Excellent control of distance. Sets up another chance for a birdie. Manuel Elvira, birdie part. Oh, yes, moves into minus two. Two huge putts in a row we've seen hold on that ninth green. Is the hole a little bigger than normal? Oh, wow, that's amazing. You wouldn't normally see a part of that hold. Third shot for Lara Thalbel at this long par five. Can he make a better job of it than his playing partner? I'll bet he can. Oh, right over the top of the pin. That easily could have clipped it and taken the drop. It sets up an excellent birdie chance. Katsuagura for a birdie at the 12th. Disappointed with his third shot. Can he make up for it with a putt? He can indeed. Well done. Four birdies in his last nine holes. It's quite a comeback. This is for a par. Oh, yes, well done. Two good par putts in a row, and when you're yes, fighting yeah. to shoot three under for the rest of the round to make uh, potentially make the cut, they could be huge putts in the context of his tournament. Paratori 
at the par 5 12th. He's done a bit of a run for birdies. He's got this and up. Oh, he's done another one. One, two, three, four, five birdies in the last six holes. Moves him to minus two. The Italian is now making the cut. It's a nice run. Wind has switched a little bit. It's almost straight downwind now and over a club. We've got 110 to the hole. Not much green to work with over the bunker. No. Yeah, well played. Good control. This is a tricky one here. It's actually gently downhill and should break from the left. Maybe a ball outside left. Pavan from the left side of the fairway. That was an awful shot there from Lara Tharbel. Oh, oh, means a flyer. Grass between clubhead and ball. Lift your camera up. There you go. That was awful, wasn't it? Not a massive flyer, I think we can say, Richard. Yes, I think it was well judged, wasn't it? Joe Dean has reached the 14th tee, 188 yards, so a medium iron for Joe. Six, perhaps a seven. He's a powerful hitter. That long, lazy rhythm. Launched on line and stayed on line. And an excellent tee shot. And even 144 Manicero, as the wind is pretty strong above the trees, can't feel it in the fairway. It's all from the right. Off and down go the eyes. It is another terrific short iron from Manicero. So he'll have that to move to four under. A really good chance for Dean. Just a little bit in it though, Tom. Inside the right edge for Dean. Solidly struck straight in the middle. Now, Benagi, third shot at the 16th. Come on, get this one up and down. Well, hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh, get in there, you beauty. Daddy will be pleased with you. Where is he? Where is he? That's it, my son. Go on, get in there. Well, a wait back on the 15th tee. Up ahead on the green, Lara Tharbel to get under par. Yeah. And he knows the significance of that. Friedrichsen at the 5th. Not a lot of people following him round out there. He'll be out here on his own. Six under. Make that seven. That shows some heart. Mm. After a bogey and a double bogey in the first four holes of this back nine for him. The front nine on the course. Hook around the trees in front of him into the wind. Sizable hook as well. See where he's aiming. Oh, and he's produced a great golf shot there. That is terrific. Had to move that one. What looked like 20 yards in the air. To the 2001 Italian Open champion Gregory Havre. This at the par four 13th is going nicely as well. Four under par. He's been a bit quiet over the last few years, hasn't he, Gregory? Here is uh, Friedrichsen from the fringe at seven. Oh, just about enough on it. Well done. So he is uh, back in amongst the leaders alongside De Bruyne and Wiebe. Get it. Oh, well done, Francesco Laporta. But it is third shot, so... He's got to hold his second at 18. Realistically, if he is going to make the weekend. Brilliant. 
every chance that he will uh, pop that one in and move it to nine under par. And the two on top have yet to win on the DP World Tour. It could be a big weekend for Gunnar Wiebe and Yannick De Bruyne. Gunnar, another good round. Now, yesterday you told us you enjoy boring golf. <laughs> How would you summarize today? <laughs> I don't think we, any of us had the chance to play boring. The conditions were really tough. Uh, the course is really starting to firm, firm up quite a bit. And you just have to pay attention. There's not really a shot where you can kind of, I don't want to say mail it in, but you've, you've got to be kind of on your, on your mental side from, from the get-go with how tricky the wind was. So not near as boring, but kind of tactical. I, I think I played, arguably I might have played better today than yesterday. Um, you can judge by score, sure, but I think the way I played today was maybe a little bit sharper. As you said, it was tough out there. Obviously, it felt a lot hotter as well, and it will be getting hotter throughout the weekend. Do you feel that changes your way in playing at all? I think the heat makes the ball go a lot farther. So I think throughout the day, we we were kind of almost like a half a club less than we would normally be with the ball sailing. And then if you catch it downwind, you are you might hit it you know 15 or 20 yards farther with a mid-iron. So uh, it's just another element. It's kind of like playing at elevation a little bit. But uh, yeah, it's we're going to have to survive the heat a little bit because it it's definitely warm. <laughs> Uh, coming off of where we've been, where it's, it seems like it's rained and been cold all year. So it's a nice reprieve, but uh, it's hot. It's definitely hot. Now, you are our current leader. The scores remain pretty consistent up there. Do you feel it'll be quite, it'll remain quite close this weekend? I would think so. Um, I think if you get, if, you know, if you get off in the morning, some of the guys that have an earlier time tomorrow, if the wind's somewhat down, I think there's still some, some chances that you can kind of get out and score. Um, if the if the weather maintains and the and the wind stays up, I think you'll see a pretty condensed leaderboard uh, and probably a lot of guys that'll have a chance. And I think whether it's me or somebody else, uh, someone's going to have to play very good the last two rounds to to hold whatever trophy or wherever it is. Yeah. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here. <laughs>